Okay, so we've got one uh, tray of bullets in the oven there, and I'm just finishing out this last tray of the LBT uh, 45 caliber 230 grain. This is the classic, um, what do they call it? Long flat nose, LFN. So it's the 45 230 grain LFN. I've only shot this once so far, and I gotta say, I really like this bullet design. It's a huge me plat, and um, it it cycled awesome. I got incredible accuracy. Um, is it that exact bullet? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I probably got lucky that day. So that's the rest of the ruby red. Um, this is the medium blue. Shaking this up here. Let's move this tray over a bit. Um, I don't even shake the bullets that much. I don't know if you saw that the first time around, but I don't know. I, I really believe keeping the powder like super ultra dry, doing things in a super dry environment, whether you create it or whether it's natural, helps big time. So, anyways, let's. Uh, so again, I use two of these broken, uh, <laughs> cracked Ziploc. What are these? These are the um, number five. I don't know if number five, number two makes a difference. I've used both and have good and have had good results. Um, I got these at Walmart. I think they come in packs of three. Again, if you if you try and do a ton of bullets in here, you're going to go through these quick. So, you know, I don't know. That's just kind of, so this is the Ford dark blue. It's kind of like medium blue. So you can get the um, Ford light blue, Ford dark blue, and Cadillac blue. It'll be light, medium, and dark blue. And again, this is uh, Teflon tape. It's getting ratty here. But um, again, I've, I, my understanding is powder coat powder has a, a lifespan or a shelf life. And so to me, to, to keep that stuff dry is just to your benefit. So, again, now I've got this bigger pile here. I'm not going to... I don't know. I don't even need to shake that off. You know? Um, I just use my own discretion. And like anything, it takes some experience. You don't want globbing of the bullets. Globbing of powder on the bullets. Um... Talk about a non-concentric bullet. Um, and that happened to me in the beginning. And I would say the biggest, if you're starting out doing this, the biggest benefit, the, the, the best thing you could do for yourself is skip Harbor Freight paint and skip any unknown quality paint. Just go with something that other people are already having good results with. Eastwood is one, but there's a lot of them. And, um, you know, if you're in some... Uh, forum or something and you're new, ask people what they're using. Um, again, something about different brands and different colors. Ruby Red, this and these are Eastwood, Ruby Red, Ford Dark Blue, Ford Light Blue, Cadillac Blue, um, they're Silver Base. Some of the powders work super easy. And then take, for instance, their color is... Um, I think it's Chevy orange or vermilion orange. I had a hard time with it. Um, I ended up did I did get it to coat pretty good, but again I created a super dry environment, and that seemed to make a difference. So, anyways, I'm gonna finish out this tray of LBT. I think this is gonna be the last tray I need to do. Um, we're waiting for the oven here to pop. We got, actually, we got more than 15 minutes. So I'm going to cut the camera again, wait for the oven to go, and instead of showing you me putting these in the oven, just assume you take these and you put them in the oven. So that you know how to do. But I'm going to, then we'll move the camera over to the kitchen sink, and I'll show you, um, again, not real tricky, dump them in water. But anyways, so that's the whole thing. All right, I will be back.